disappointed. Uh, I saw how far we have to go. Uh, and I really thought we'd perform better. Uh, thought we'd play harder. So, uh, I'm disappointed. I think the guys were really disappointed when they watched the film and we were able to, you know, when those games come so quickly, there's not a lot of time to do film work in that. So, we hadn't been together long, but I was telling them how poorly we were playing. I don't think they totally believed me or bought into the idea that we were as bad as we, we played. And, and that is no disrespect to UConn, because it's early in their season, it's early in everybody's season. But, uh, you know, I was hoping we'd play a little better. And, and uh, I think the guys, when we were able to get back here and watch film, and I think they were very disappointed also. What's been the reaction in practice and what's kind of your focus? We had a great practice Tuesday. Monday was a day off. Great practice Tuesday. Uh, yesterday we slipped a little bit. You know, I, was, I was disappointed there, but uh, uh, I'm hoping they'll be sharp today and we'll be ready to play a very talented and experienced division team. Uh, six and one. Uh, they lost to Iowa State without right, go, the best player, their preseason player of the year in the Mount West. And, they came back in that game from a 24-point deficit to have a shot to get it to two. So, um, very experienced, very well coached. Um, that'll be a really tough game for us right now. What do you kind of see as the as the issues right now with the struggles that you guys are having? Why, well, you know, to simplify it for the guys, we kind of boiled it down to three things. You know, our ball movement offensively uh, has to improve. Our purpose defensively. You know, we, uh, our attention to our fundamentals, uh, just not very good. We're out there with five different plans, you know, we're, we're not on the same page. Uh, and then our physicality on the boards has got to improve. So all three phases of the game, you know, we feel uh, not anywhere close on any of them. Uh, so we, we got a tremendous amount of work to do. We knew that going into the tournament, but the tournament really, really pointed it out to even our guys. So, uh, Troy come out to be all right? Uh, Troy won't play tomorrow. Uh, he's been out all week uh, going through the concussion protocol. And so uh, he, will, he will not play tomorrow. What, this is kind of the, these two weeks you have one game. I mean, that's kind of the last time you're going to have, you know, the week after I think you have three games. Is this an important two weeks in terms of maybe having more practice time than you're going to get in a while? You know, we're not really next week's finals. So, uh, you know, that would be ideal. Uh, but, you know, we played Sunday. Um, Monday was our day off. So, you know, we have a couple days here to practice and try to get ready without Troy. Uh, but next week's finals, and traditionally that, <laughs> that hasn't been one of our better weeks of practice. So, guys scrambling to make sure they got all their loose ends tied up and, and ready to go. So, uh, that traditionally hasn't been one of our better ones. What is the adjustment without Troy? You know, guys are going to have to step up. You know, insert somebody else in the starting lineup. I'm not sure what direction I'll go yet. But, uh, you know, everybody's going to have to play a little bit more. The one thing Troy has really given us more play, he's our leading rebounder. Uh, so he's done a tremendous job on the boards. Uh, he's a little disappointed with his turnovers, and so is he. Uh, but one thing he has given us is seven rebounds a game. And so that'll be a, a huge hole to fill against a very big, physical boys team. They do look like they're kind of got some size and a lot of juniors and seniors, boys. Are... And they shoot the heck out of it. So they, they're 42% from three and take more than we do. And, uh, we take a lot and they take more than we do. So uh, it is it's going to be a big challenge for us. You know, if we were playing good and we had Troy Brown, this would be a big challenge. We're not playing particularly well and we don't have Troy, so it's it's it's, it's going to be a very difficult game for us, very difficult. You get a long home win streak. Do you use that as motivation with these guys, pride in that? Can't do this. You know, only a couple of them are a big part of that. Yeah. You know, so, you know, we try to tell the freshmen and that, you know, that this is going on for a while, but, you know, without being a big part of it, I, I don't think it's the same. So that small forward Hutchison of Boise State, good player. What do you do to stop that guy? He was really athletic, really long. Um, you know, he's getting to the rim really good. Um, 
we're just going to have to do a good job. We have to move our feet hard. Defensively, we just have not been in a good, good position. It's as much my fault as the players. I haven't put them in the right positions. I haven't made them pay enough that attention to detail. Uh, when they're out of position and, and not where they're supposed to be, that's on them, but it's also on me. And, and so we, we just got to do a lot better job of bending our knees, fighting the dribble, quit fouling all the time. You know, we, we are fundamentally unsound. Uh, you know, that's, that's our job, my job, you know, to improve that. And, uh, we probably won't make a big jump in two days' practice, three days' practice, but uh, it is our challenge through the month of December to, to try to become a defensive team and really can guard somebody. This is where you can be fine. Without Troy, this kind of thing takes back up one card. He kind of has the ball. Elijah. 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 Elijah's going to have to handle it some. And, uh, you know, they're, they're all going to have to do a better job handling the ball. We're, you know, our turnovers are just come at really bad times. It's not like we're turning over that much for a young team, but man, they come at bad times. You know, just trying to force things, trying to, most of them have been trying to create something off the dribble. You know, those are, those are not good turnovers. You mentioned Elijah, just kind of what have you seen from him and, and Mikhail just kind of coming in as, as grand transfers? You know, they're adjusting also. You know, I was hoping the transition form would be a little quicker and a little smoother. Uh, but, but they've struggled with the transition also. And so I'm sure hoping that they can get her going here a little bit better because those two guys we're really counting on. Uh, but they've struggled a little bit more with the, with the adjustment than some of our former grad transfers. But in their defense, they were coming in, those other grad transfers were coming in with more experienced teams. You know, this is, they're coming in with one guy who's played, you know, and so in fairness to them, this is a much tougher situation than a lot of our other grad transfers have come in. Is that just something that, like, you know, playing together more with the, with the guys will, will kind of fix? Or I hope so. I hope so. You know, it, it uh, our inexperience and our lack of togetherness really showed in Portland. So I, I'm hoping that the more they play together, the more they practice together, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue to develop. Over the years, zone, matchup zone have seemed to be really effective in the last few years. How much, is that harder to teach? The, or how much are you using that compared to over the other That's years? a good question. It, it takes a, a lot of time to communicate on that and get the, the shifts. And you know, guys have to play together, you know, usually for it to really come together. Um, we've tried it. It's, it's not been good to us. Um, this year, really? Yeah. Right. In the past, you're right, it's been really good to us. But, uh, uh, and I think it's something this team's got to do. But with our communication labs, I mean, we just, and that's leadership and those vets, you know, it's talking, someone taking charge. You know, we just, uh, I mean, if you watch this in Portland, you just, and, and even if you watch this in those first four home games, you saw how many defensive mistakes we're making, and a lot of them communication. Two guys come together, both go one direction and instead of making the proper switch and that. So uh, again, we, we can get there, but I'm just disappointed that the progress hasn't been as as quickly. And then again, I'd, I'd like to put some of that, but I, I'm disappointed how hard we play, and there is no excuse for that. And, Again, that is as much on me as it is them. Uh, we pride ourselves. We have taken great pride in, in playing hard and, and uh, being a team that, that competes. And uh, I just I didn't feel like the, the team did a very good job. I feel like you have the depth to do that. Don't you play hard? Absolutely. Absolutely. We, you know, we've played hard playing seven guys. It's, it's, it's a good match. I'm very disappointed, and I think the guys are too. I mean, I, I just don't know how quickly we can get a change. You know, it, it's not something you just turn on a light switch and okay, everybody's going hard and everything's fixed. It, you know, guys really got to commit to it for a while, and we got to get better habits. And uh, communication habits have got to get better. The fundamentals have got to get better. Uh, I just hope we can take a big enough jump to, to get Boise State in. All right. Thank All righty. Thank you. Let's go.